Let, let, let me take mm, let me take a sip of my cold beverage real quick I implore you to take a sip of your cold beverages of course <sighs> I just want to stay for the record I watched this and Artemis Fowl in the same day now will I be doing a video on Artemis Fowl more than likely not why because the movie was a piece of shit and I don't think it deserves my breath and we have other things to attend to, like Final Destination 5. So, yeah. <sighs> you guys have waited. I've been teasing it. I've been cock-teasing you guys throughout all three of these reviews. Oh, Resident Evil 4 is a piece of shit. Resident Evil 4. Well. Here we are. The Final Destination. Where was the final destination? At the bottom of the bottle of Nyquil that I was drinking while watching this? Or that I needed? Where, where's the final destination? At the bottle of liquor that I wish I had drinking this- watching this piece of shit? I'm not gonna beat around the bush. This movie fucking sucks. I put it in the thumbnail. This movie fucking sucks. Not even gonna ask Kevin what he thinks because we watched it together and we both had the same reactions to the same things. But due to my common courtesy, I'm gonna ask him, Kevin, what did you think of the final destination? It was awful. Look, he just <laughs> took a sip of his cold beverage. <laughs> it, it was bad. <laughs> this yeah, it was movie like is around. horrendous. You know, we I gave Final Destination 3 shit. At least it tried. At least it tried to have fun kills that looked good. We're going to get into that. That looked good with great effects. This, oh my. I actually took notes on this one. And I know I said I wasn't going to do them for the Final Destination reviews. This, I had to. Because I don't know where to fucking start. This movie is horrendous. The characters are awful. There is only one character I cared about. And in a non-ironic way, it is the black guy. The characters are awful. They all have the ability of acting range of porn stars. All of them. All of them have acting range of porn. I'm telling you. And I'm going to get this comment. Ooh, how do you know what porn acting sounds like? Stop it. Don't even. Don't even. You know. You know. Kevin knows. We all know. The story is so uninteresting. I could not give less of a shit with what was happening in this movie. They tried nothing in this movie. Nothing. Final Destination 2 introduced the concept of, oh, if there's a new birth, maybe that would like reset the, the timeline and shit. That's fine. Perfect. Final Destination 3 tried nothing. But it, like... It still kind of had a story. This had nothing. 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 This movie did nothing for 82 minutes. This movie was noise for 82 minutes. This movie makes no sense. This movie just happens. It, it just things happen and it's like this is happening why I don't know money dumb teenagers are gonna go watch it and blow <laughs> the movie is good <laughs> the special effects oh my god oh my god do you want to talk about the special effects before I rip this a new asshole <laughs> I did say this to you the opening disaster it looked like something that came out of my, that came out of a video that I would make in technology class. In the seventh grade. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I need to breathe. 
the pre let's start with the pre with the disaster in the beginning as it stands the disaster could have been the best one was it no why because it looks like shit the disaster in this movie is a race car track a, a race car nascar race whatever blowing up that's a good idea for a disaster what do they do with it? Well, let's see. They have things blowing up, turning into CGI special effects that look like absolutely horrendous, god-awful special effects that go from, oh my god, that's so gross, to, oh my god, that looks so fake. There is a scene where these people are running and a pile of, like, concrete just piles up on them. The concrete piles up so fast on them because of the CGI looking so fucking bad. So it's just like, block, 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 piling up. And it's so fast because it's so fucking digital and it looks like such utter crap. That's why it looks like that. You can tell. They would, bro, the special effects are so bad, there was a CGI ceiling fan. Why do you have to CGI a ceiling fan? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Who does that? Then, let, let, let's talk about the visions this guy gets. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> oh. This was like... They, you know, I, I think the director was probably playing PlayStation 2 and was like, Hey, I want to take some elements from the game that I'm playing and insert them in my movie, but not make them look any better. At least that's what I think. The flashes images that he sees, they are PS2 graphics. They are PS2, PS2 graphics special effects. I put that on everything I love. They are. They are. There was a scene with a CGI snake. Oh my god. Oh my god. I. I, I just need to breathe. I, I need to breathe. Because I'm losing my train of thought. And I, I let's talk about the kills why because I have nothing to say about this movie this movie is a 0 out of 10 it is fucking a it is an abomination it is terrible it is 100% the worst in this series why because let's see final destination one was okay it was a little bit boring but it had decent enough kills and it was okay final destination 2 was very good because it continued the story in an interesting enough way had fun kills and had nice characters final destination 3 is a piece of shit with decent kills and respectable enough acting in it this movie has nothing there is not what there are a couple of things redeemable that we're going to talk about with these kills that is it. That is the only possible thing is the kills. And even those are not that good. I only like them because I have a sense of humor. That is it. If I'm being realistic, none of these kills are creative. None of them. They're all Looney Tunes kills. They're ridiculous. The kills in all three movies were better than this. There was not one kill where I the, Okay, there's one kill. There is one kill in this movie where I was like, that is a damn good kill. Other than that, every kill is just dumb. Let's start with these kills. First of all, Kevin, your least favorite and favorite kill, right off the bat. What what are they? <laughs> um, it's not really a good kill in this movie. If I have to say the most hilarious, it was the mom in the hair salon. The worst one? Shit, take your pick. <laughs> it could be anything. <laughs> My favorite kill was the escalator kill. When Laurie gets dragged into the escalator. That looks really cool. The special effects looked really good. And it looked nice. My least favorite kill? Easily the pool kill. It looks so dumb. It looks dumb. It's so horrendous. It... Mm. Let's start with these kills. The kill with the mother getting shot in the head with the eye. Visually, it looks ridiculous. 
on a comedy level, I laughed my ass off because of the line that she gives. She goes, I've got my eye on you. And then she turns around and gets smacked in the head with a rock in the eye, which was hilarious. I laughed my ass off. I will say this. There's one more positive I'd like to say. The whole thing in Final Destination is that they build up the suspense in the kills. Like, ooh, this is going to happen. This movie does a good job at not being so over the top with it. It's kind of more subtle than the other three, which I cannot believe and believe I'm fucking saying that about this movie. That it's subtle, but it is. It does a good job at building tension without, like, jump scare music. That's basically what I'm saying. They do that for most of these kills. Most of them. But the m kill with the mother was a hilarious kill, but if I'm looking back on it, it's not a good kill. The racist guy dying is retarded. One of the worst kills in this franchise. It's awful. He's just so over the top racist. I hate when movies do that, when they just make people racist for the sake of making them racist. It's so dumb. Um, But his kill itself was just lame. It was lame. I hated it. He just, like, I, I can't even tell you what happened. Like, death knocks over his beer and, like, the, the, the plastic net gets caught on the, um, the gear shift for the car or the truck or whatever. And he, like, the, the, uh, honestly, I'm going to stop trying to explain it because I can't explain it. I cannot explain it for the life of me. I don't know what happened with this kill. Long story short, there's a chain on the truck. It m magically wraps around this guy, and he just gets dragged. And because of the sparks on the floor, he catches on fire. While the song, Why Can't We Be Friends, plays on the fucking radio. That's the only reason I like the kill, because it's fucking hilarious that they play that song. Other than that, the kill is garbage. Absolutely ridiculous. Andy's kill, the mechanic, awful, awful. The kill when he gets put through the gate, awful, absolutely awful. No build up in the kill, no build up. First of all, I don't even care about this guy. They're just talk. They just go to talk to him. Hey, listen, man, you're gonna die. Okay, let's, let's figure out how to not kill me. Oh wait, never mind, because I'm fucking dead. Awful. The effects? Awful. The way the kill happens? Awful. Absolutely awful. One of the worst kills ever. Hunt's kill. The pool kill. The worst in the franchise. This is the worst in the franchise. I'm sorry. Some people like this kill. I hate this kill. It's awful. The things that lead up to this kill are retarded. He jumps into a pool for a FUCKING COIN! Are you kidding me? It's a coin, bro! Second of all, Kevin- me and Kevin dived into this because I was like, I don't think that's physically possible with what happens to him. Kevin said it is possible. So then I asked the court, Kevin, explain how it's physically possible. Because we found this out. How is it possible? <laughs> I mean, really, they, I never uh, um, got the explanation on the physics side of it. I just looked at the pool drainage depth. And apparently it is technically possible and that if the, um, if the pressure got too high, which it actually did, then it would have been possible for them to get sucked into it, at least for a body part. I'm not sure for that position of the guy. They just said, oh, if your body can get pulled in and if the pressure goes too high, you could dive with that. So then I asked this question. Why did he get so close? First of all, why are you jumping in the fucking pool for a coin in the first place? That's my question. Second of all, why are you getting so close to the goddamn pool jet? <laughs> Who goes to the bottom of the fucking pool? <sighs> they, and then on top of that, the CGI blood is ridiculous. It, it just looks ridiculous. It looks fake. It doesn't even look cool. It looks ridiculous. The what, my least favorite kill in this entire franchise. Absolutely horrendous. Garbage. 
Jonathan's kill, again, another Looney Tunes kill. Ridiculous. He gets crushed by a bathtub. The escalator kill by Lori. Very good. This is my favorite kill in the movie. It looks very good. I like the effect of her body like rolling into the escalator. That shit looks brutal as fuck. I don't give a shit that she died, but hell. I mean, if you're gonna write shitty characters, at least have nice deaths for them. And this movie does a good job at that per kill. So, I gotta give them props for that. Um... George's kill is lame. He gets hit by a bus or an ambulance. That's it. The best character in the movie gets hit by an ambulance. Oh, good, goodbye. I would rather have him as the main character than Alex. Or, or I, I don't even know this kid's name. Do I care? No. The, I would rather have him as the main character because he was actually kind of likable. Which I'm going to get into in a second. Oh, that's the last kill. Um, oh, the ending kill. Whoop the fucking do. They all die in the end. Okay, I don't care. They did that in Final Destination 3. I don't care. I seriously think... I We haven't seen 5 yet, but from what I've heard, I think they're still teenagers. They need to go back to making these characters adults. They do. There's a reason why I'm saying that George was the best character in this movie. Why? Because he's an adult. These characters are not adults. They're supposed to be adults. They're not adults. They're porn stars acting like adults. They need to go back to making them adults. The last movie that had them as adults, Final Destination 2. What happened? Final Destination 2 turned out to be the best one in the franchise so far. They need to stop plucking porn stars that work in Starbucks every day to star in these movies thinking that they're going to act. Or, they need to stop casting them, thinking, Oh, well, the actors don't matter. It's all about the kills. No. No. Because in the case of this piece of shit, if you don't have good characters, or good acting for that matter, I'm not going to care. There's a reason that 9 out of 10 times in this piece of shit, every time somebody died, I laughed my ass off. Why? Because I don't give a shit about anybody. When somebody dies in a horror movie, I'm supposed to say, Oh my god, no, no, not that person. That's so sad. Like when Randy died in Scream 2. That is a great horror movie death. If I did not take down these notes and these kills, I, w I could not be able to tell you a single fucking person's name in this movie. Nobody. They need to go back to having... Uh, adults casted for these movies. This is ridiculous. I'm sick of having these movies be filled with porn stars that don't know how to act and don't know how to give a great performance. Or at least a tolerable performance to the point where I say, you know what? I like you as a character. What is the point of watching these movies at this Ooh, it's for the kills. Okay. Yeah, I get it's for the kills. But if you're not going to have good characters with it or a good story... I'm not going to care about the kills. Do you have anything else to add to this? You pretty much summed it up, man. Not much else. This movie's a piece of shit. I fucking hate it with a passion. This is my least favorite Final Destination movie. It is one of my least favorite horror movies of all time. I hate this movie with a piece of shit. And after watching this with Kevin, I give you my word, I will never watch this movie ever again unless I'm binging through these fucking movies. And even at that, I don't think I'm ever gonna fucking watch this movie again. Unless I'm either drunk, high, or ready to slit my wrist. This movie's a fucking joke. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that because the anger's been building all day. And on top of that, I've been anticipating sitting here ranting on this piece of shit all day. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys look forward to the review of Final Destination 5 coming on Sunday. I'm praying to God that movie is good. So we can end this series on a positive note. And I don't have to shit on another one of these movies. And then we can move on to better things. 
thank you guys so much. Um, if you enjoyed this lovely rant, please go on the channel and look at the other reviews for Final Destination, as well as our reviews for the Dark Knight trilogy, Terminator, um, Star Wars. We did all those. Um, we're doing another big series soon, so I hope you guys are excited about that one. Um, if you haven't already, please leave a like and subscribe, and stay safe in quarantine. See ya.